or good afternoon or good evening whatever time of day it is for you it's sunny sun is shining bright here in baltimore today hallelujah y'all know how much i love the sun glory to god i love the sun in the sky and i love the son of god my jesus my savior hallelujah he touched me last night y'all he touched me the devil attacked my body i was really really in bad shape last night out of nowhere my it felt like somebody just took two knives and stuck them in my in my shoulder blades and i could hardly walk and i could hardly move it was like whoa and then i said you know what the devil you are a liar I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. I said, I couldn't even go to the hospital because I don't have insurance right now, right? So I said, well, that's not an option. Hey, how you doing? I'm blessed too. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. And um, so, so. So I'm in all this pain, right? I was like, oh my goodness, what the heck is this? What the heck is going on? So I just started rebuking the devil and said, I'm healed by Jesus Christ. And I noticed something that 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 what I've been mastering is you don't want to give in to the pain. You don't have to give in to the pain. I decided not to give in to the pain and not panic and be in fear. Because God can do all things. So I just calmed myself down. And I just moved real slow. And I got on the bed. And I was like, okay, laying on my back. That's not good. So I rolled over real slow on my stomach. And I just kept praying. And kept calling on the name of Jesus. And I kept saying, I'm going to get better with each passing moment. Thank you, Lord. And I got in my sauna. He told me, get in the sauna. I got in the sauna for over an hour. And it loosened up. And just kept getting better, getting better, getting better. Now it's like five, like five percent pain. That's it. God is amazing. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. He's a healer. He's a healer. There's nothing too hard for our God. There's nothing too hard for him, y'all. It was a day I would have panicked. I would have been in the emergency room. I would have called somebody to help me. I would have gave into the pain. I would have caved into the pain. Like I used to cave into depression. I don't cave into it anymore. I don't give into it anymore. It tries to attack me sometimes. Tries to make me depressed sometimes. But I don't give into it. We have a choice to make. It's a battle of the mind. It's a battle of the mind. Joyce Meyer's book, Battlefield of the mind helped me so much. This is spiritual warfare we're in, and we just have to speak those things that are not as if they are and believe it. You can you can you can doubt or you can believe. It's a choice. Just think about it. Now I can think negative or I can think positive. It's just a choice. And what, what you think will become your reality. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, what a mighty God you are. Oh, I'm so glad this sun is shining, y'all. Look at the sun. Look at the sun. Look at the sun. Oh, thank you, God. Oh, I love the sun. Oh, I love the sun. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all, we got to, we got to keep on. It's, we, we got to keep on trusting and believing because things are always going to happen to distract us. Things are always going to happen to try to steal our joy but we don't have to let it we don't have to it's our choice our reality is our choice hallelujah because with God all things are possible all things are possible glory to God this is from a woman that used to be depressed for weeks on medication when I was on medication now I don't take any medication and I've been able to get on and inspire every day on on YouTube since November since June the 7th 2019 that's not a person that's labeled as bipolar one she can't do that <laughs> but with God all things are possible and I do it without any medication I took medication for 20 years I don't take any medication now God is my medicine <laughs> He is my medicine. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit that dwells within me is my medicine. And I, he is the comforter. He's the helper. He helps me with my symptoms. He helps me with my energy. He tells me to run. I got to run every day. That's what I got to do. 
to keep myself under control, to keep my flesh under control, because I got a lot of energy. I got a lot of energy. That energy can be, it can turn into aggression. If I'm not rested, it can be, I can be mean. Okay? That's how I used to be. But no, he tells me what to do to take care of myself now. I got to get enough sleep. You know? Even if it's a nap in the middle of the day, whenever, I got to listen to my body. Our bodies are the temple of the Holy, Holy Spirit, which we have of God and we are not our own. We must love our neighbors as we love ourselves. That means we have to love ourselves first. And we take care of ourselves by getting enough rest, getting enough sleep, getting enough food, eating healthy, getting exercise. And God will honor you. And if you ask him, Holy Spirit, to lead you every day, lead your thoughts, your words, and your actions, he will lead you in victory every day. I'm living proof, y'all. I mean, this is a woman who wanted to kill herself a couple times. Try it once. Okay? And, oh, God is so good. <laughs> oh, Lord, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Robin. Hey, Charlotte. Boy, you know, I was just watching, um, watching Pratiba. She had a guest named Adam on, and he's a Christian. Hey, Shirley, Shirley watching too. I got Shirley, Robin, and Charlotte. Woman for the Father, one for the Son, one for the Holy Spirit. God, I thank you for my sisters right now. I love them all, God. I thank you for my sisters, God. I thank you for my sisters, God, showing me some support, giving me their time. They're sharing a piece of their life with me right now, God. And I ask that you bless them for it. This is a part of their life. This is time. You don't get time back. They're sharing their life with me right now. And I ask you bless them for it. I ask that you touch them from the tops of their heads to the soles of their feet and anything unlike you I ask that you remove it Father in the name of Jesus I plead the blood of Jesus over y'all I plead the blood of Jesus over you no weapon formed against you will prosper this day any pain it's got to go in the name of Jesus I rebuke it in the name of Jesus any depression you got to go in the name of Jesus any confusion any anger any unforgiveness anything but God's perfect peace I rebuke Rebuke it in the name of Jesus. I claim, claim confidence and love and strength and peace and all good things in your life this day. Oh, financial blessings, abundant blessings in every area of your lives in the name of Jesus. Let you dream your dreams and walk in the victory every day of your life. Satan is rebuked. In the name of Jesus, we will have the victory. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. Look at his son, y'all. Look at his son. The sun is still up in the sky. It's still shining down on us. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, I thank you, God. Oh, I thank you, God. God inhabits the praises of his children, y'all. Feeling good, y'all feeling good. I hope you're feeling good, like I'm feeling good. <clears throat> Nikita feeling good, she just had her bowel movement. Oh, that's another thing too, y'all. I used to be so constipated, and God changed my diet, and I'm like one of the most regular people in the world. I'm like a baby, man. <laughs> Every time I eat, I go to the bathroom. It's so wonderful you have no idea i could go five days without going to the bathroom but when you listen to god and ask him to lead you what food you should eat tell him what ask him what exercises you should do he will tell you he will de design a a, a, a a diet just for you because that's what he did for me and the diet he he designed for me just happens to build my immune system up Everything, just about everything on my diet builds my immune system up. <laughs> I eat pineapple every day and my oatmeal. My daughter thinks that's weird, but I also put blueberries in. in um, and blueberries are antioxidants too. Blueberries and bananas in it. And, um, and I eat um, 
turmeric tea. I make me a turmeric tea in the morning. That's for arthritis. It's for inflammation. But it also builds your immune system. I grate up my fresh, make myself some fresh ginger tea. And I, with my tea, I make use honey and lemon in it. Oh, it's so good. Fresh lemon. And I drink lemon water all day long. That's all I drink is lemon water and my homemade teas. That's all I drink. I don't drink anything else. And I'm just so happy and grateful for what I, what I eat. And I eat um, mangoes now. I didn't used to like them. It's like I, all this stuff I didn't even used to like, but I asked God what to get. And I'm in the grocery store. And he said, get that, get that, get that, get that. And it's like all of this stuff, that the olive oil that I cook with all the time. And, you know, and, and, um, um, what else? I hope I'm helping somebody. <laughs> That's all I want to do, y'all. I just want everybody to walk in a victory like I am. Um, he hooked me up. God, no, I don't like wearing that mask. Now, I wear the mask when I go in the store and everything. But when I'm exercising, I need all the oxygen I can get. I don't need no. Somebody calling me. I don't need anything obstructing my oxygen. I need it. So... So I'll be out here. I've been, I don't wear that mask only when I go into the store. I don't wear it when I'm driving. I don't wear it. I hate them. Hate the mask. I do. So God made sure my diet is full of everything that boosts my immune system. So not only will I not catch the, the catch the, um, not only will I not catch the coronavirus, but I won't catch any viruses. A nurse sent me a sent me something, and this was after God designed my diet. Sent me something with nine a list of nine things. Oh, and the 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 mandarins. I used to couldn't stand mandarins. Now I can't eat enough of them. Oh my gosh! And they are the they they have nine point five pH balance. That's the that really builds your immune system up. And I can't get enough of them now. It's like all this, it was like nine things on this list. Seven of the things is what God told me to add to my diet. So y'all, I ain't, I'm, I'm not making this stuff up. You hear me? God is good and he is there. And you talk to him, he will talk back to you. He is no respecter of person. Even though when I, when I, I was listening to a brother, um, Bishop McMillan this morning, and he read that scripture. But in, in that case, that scripture is referring to um, sin, you know, that he's no respecter of person. And I've been applying it to, you know, everything like, like good stuff. But that's also meaning, you know, he will, you know, discipline everybody you know needs it including me who's alex alex watching me it's alex alex hey alex alex god bless alex alex let me see something let me see if i can see if you're a male or a female so i can pray for you i can't look well, God, I ask that you bless Alex right now from the top of Alex's head to the bottom of Alex's feet. I thank you for giving him the victory, giving him the victory. And um, and removing anything unlike you in his body, in his mind or her mind. I don't know if it's a girl or a boy. <laughs> I'm sorry. I tried to look, but God, you know who Alex is. But I just ask that you bless Alex with the desires of Alex's heart in the name of Jesus. And let no weapon formed against Alex prosper in the name of Jesus. Alex is going to have a good day today. Going to walk in the victory today. People are going to be kind to Alex today in the name of Jesus. I pray this prayer. Amen. Yes, God is good. <laughs> You didn't like water before, water and honey at first, but now you, are you serious, Charlotte? That's the same with me. See, God is good. I couldn't stand honey before. I hated honey. Wow. And I couldn't drink water. Now, and I don't even, drink, I don't even drink it, Um, but I do put lemon in it. I just put lemon in it. But yeah, God, if you got a willing spirit, he'll work with you. If you, if you try to, try to do what he asks just and it's only going to benefit you 
to benefits us to listen to him because he has the he's the master he sees everything that's going on he knows what's around the corner waiting for you so he'd be trying to prepare us but if we so if we surrender to his will he'll tell us the right way to go y'all you don't we don't have to be scared of God like that we don't have to be scared of him we can trust him with our lives we can trust him I trust him with my life he be hooking me up <laughs> Let me stop running. All right, all right, come, come on, come on your mind. Get set, go, come on. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Y'all, Satan had me last night. Had me bound, but not anymore. Not anymore. Look at me. Glory to God. Hallelujah. He's a miracle worker. God is a miracle worker. Yes, He is. Look at this guy. Ooh. Lord, thank you, Lord. Oh, I praise you. I lift you up. Oh, thank you, Lord. Devil was like, devil was trying. He was like, yeah, you was out there running yesterday, showing off. Now look at you. Now look at you. You ain't going to be out there tomorrow. I said, you a liar, Satan. You a liar. This too shall pass. Like Les Brown said, it didn't come to stay. It came to pass. And it passed. Look at me now. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I was, there was a time I got somebody to take me to the hospital and got a shot for that pain I was feeling last night. But nope. Nope. Oh, Lord. I praise you, Father. I magnify you. I lift you up. Oh. 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 Les Brown birthday today. We get to see him tonight in the class, in our power voice class. Love me some Les Brown. He really helped me a lot. Took my time in the wilderness. It's just me and God. <laughs> It's 20, 27, no, 30 degrees now. Face, face feel a little icy, a little bit, just a little bit. Oh, he listening to the old. <laughs> <laughs> this guy walking with us, holding this boom box. I found love on a two-way street. Listening to oldies and goodies. Oh, oh, oh thank you, God. Oh, thank you. I need some. Prayer, y'all. Who said, Alex, you still watching? Alex, I'm gonna look you up when I finish my run. <laughs> Alex. Oh, this guy looks kind of amazing. It really does, ain't it? Let me see. Look at that. Look at the separation of clouds. Wait a minute, he's trying to get me caught up, Keita. Don't get me caught up. Don't get me caught up, Keita. I'm... Look to the sky. Yes, my Nikita. Nikita gets so excited when we get ready to go. This is her job, man. This is Nikita's job. She a working dog. German Shepherd's a working dog. And she know this is her job. She my trainer. <laughs> I run at her pace. <laughs> and she know what I need, when I need it. It's amazing. I think God control this dog, I'm telling you. 
He showed oh, yep. Well, I ain't gonna go into that. But the key is like Lassie. She's smart. <laughs> I I was almost burning the house down in Hampton, and I was outside cutting the, the, the bushes, and she came and pushed her paws against the window. It was a the, the, the um the the blinds. She was pushing the paws against the blinds. How y'all doing? Good. I said, why? Why is she pushing her paws against the blinds like that? And I had my headphones on, and I took the headphones off, and the alarm, the fire smoke detector was going off. I had put some beans on the pot to heat up, and forgot I was only supposed to be cutting one bush. And see that energy I got, you know, I ended up cutting all the bushes around the house. I was out there a long time. And Nikita said, if you don't get in here before you burn me up, mommy. <laughs> she came to the side bedroom where I was cutting crack, cutting the bush, and got my attention. And I went in there. I was like, oh, Lord. Oh, Lord, thank you. I would have felt horrible. Not just burn the house down, burn, burn my dog up. God, God gave me this dog. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is the third lap. Got one more to go. Y'all hanging in there with me. Oh, you don't have to. I just hope I'm inspiring somebody a little bit. Get some exercise today. Get some exercise. It'll do your body good. It releases endorphins. What do you call endorphins? This just sounded funny. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Lord. I praise you. Oh, thank you, God. What a difference a day makes. Joy sweeping may endure for a night, but joy come up in the morning. I'm telling you what I know. I wasn't crying last night. I almost did, but I said, no, I ain't going to cry. I ain't crying. This devil, you a liar. You getting off me tonight. Mm -mm. I walk in divine healing because by Jesus' stripes I am healed. That's the present tense. And anything contrary to that, I'm not going to accept it. Never, ever, 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 ever. No. No. Where there's life, there's hope. And I was looking at Adam, his, the one that Fatima was interviewing Adam, the young man full of the Spirit of God. And um, he started out with when she was introducing him, she said that his favorite quote is, um, is where there's life, there's hope. And don't I say that all the time, y'all? So I'm inviting we friends now on Facebook. He's something else. He has cerebral palsy and he's a, he's a, a walking testimony of God's grace. Yes, he is. Adam Nieves. Nieves. N-I-E-V-E-S. You want to check him out, young man? Oh, poor doggy. I'm, just, I'm sorry. I wish you could come run with us, but you can't. Sorry. Let me see if I'm missing anybody. When I cook, when I cook beans, I just cut them in the slow cooker. I used to have a slow cooker. I do have a slow cooker, but I use Salad Master pots and pans now. Salad Master is top of the line, healthy cooking. Um, which my, my daughter sold me to say she works with Salad Master. Um, but it's like, it's amazing. Everything cooks twice as fast in it, and everything, um, it just tastes better in the pots and pans. They're pretty penny. But they were worth it. They were worth an investment to me, man. Oh, dang. God gave me the desire of my heart. I said, I wish that side show began. Hurry, hurry, step right on in. <laughs> Can't afford to pass it by. Guaranteed to make you cry. Let the side show begin. Hurry, hurry. <laughs> I wanted to hear that man's music. And he just came back there and sat down. <laughs> God give you the desires of your heart, man. 
He's amazing. Muhammad. Hey, Muhammad. It's my blessing, y'all. If y'all notice, look at my Facebook page and my Instagram page. Got new life to it now. Got new spirit to it now. Because God sent me some help. And his name is Muhammad. He's got the technical skills. And he's got the presence of God with him. And he's anointed. And I just love him. And I'm so grateful for his, for his good. I'm not tech savvy. But God sent me somebody to help me that I could afford. Hallelujah. And his name is Muhammad. <laughs> and he's watching me now. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. What you say? Let me see. <sighs> he said, what a motivation for people about how to vlog while running. Great job. Thank you. Thank you so much, Muhammad. I love encouragement, man. Hallelujah. I love the encourage, and I like being encouraged. We got to keep each other going, y'all. We need each other. We need each other. God says it's not good for man to be alone. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm happy. You're part of the reason I got this pep in my step, Muhammad, today. You excited me with those posts that you made for me. They're so beautiful. And it's of my spirit. It's like we're the same spirit. Our spirits bear witness with each other. Because, no, I'm just, I'm so grateful. I'm just so grateful. Yeah, because because technology is, is something that I've gotten better with. A lot better, but it's still not my gift. It's just not. I got a lot of gifts. I got a lot of gifts. And I was, but I need help. I needed somebody who was gifted. And Muhammad is gifted. So if you need have any any need work on your website, growing your page, your Instagram page, or your YouTube page, look up Muhammad Zanir. 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 He's one of my friends. And he made a comment so you can look him up. Yes, yes. Please, he's good, y'all. He's artistic, and I'm an artist, okay? I went to, I studied, I went to college, that's where I got my bachelor's degree in. And his design, and his color, his color, his design, the concept, everything he does is excellent. Very artistic. Very artistic. Very talented. God, God hooked me up, y'all. You hear me? Shoot. Hallelujah. Oh, this is time. Ooh. Oh, I got my mile in. Now I'll do my mile walk. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Ooh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, I like this song too. Little girl. Oh, oh, oh. I, you're a big girl now. No more daddies, little girl. I had to tell my damn daughter, she's 27 fucking years old, and she's still depending on daddy. I told her, you, I told her, you better get one of them things out there, they call a goddamn job. How did you earn y'all are equal now? That means you got the equal right to. Oh, like All right. God bless you. <laughs> you too. Another thing to say. You a big girl now. No more daddies, little girl. Oh. I haven't heard that song in years. I used to love this song. Well, evidently, I still do. Boy, I be subjecting y'all to everything, don't I? <laughs> get all of me. Y'all get all of me. Everything I am. Everything I am. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Y'all got to look up that song. If you never heard it, you're a big girl now. I don't know who it's by. I don't know who it's My cousin Kevin probably know who it's by. It's an old group. Probably back in the 70s. Some no way. I'm a, you should Google it. Is they harmonize on that song?
<laughs> I know I should get off here. I'm going to wear y'all. I'll probably wear y'all out. One of my friends used to say, I make them tired when I do my prayer run. He, he got to can't listen because he get tired. <laughs> That's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. That's pretty lazy, I think. <laughs> All right. Well, I love y'all. I'm going to wash my extra lap. Stop it, Peter. Stop, Peter. Stop, Peter. I'm going to walk my extra lap. And I'm so glad y'all joined me. If you're still here.